Describe some everyday examples that illustrate thermal expansion. Now remember thermal expansion is caused by heating solids, liquids or gases. And when you heat a solid, liquid or gas, you make the particles move faster. They gain kinetic energy. That might mean they vibrate more if they're a solid or if they're a liquid or gas, they move around faster. And they take up more room. And so they take up a greater volume. They've expanded. Now, some of the effects of every uh, everyday effects of thermal expansion um, are useful, and some of them are just a nuisance. And so, here are five examples that you can use to illustrate thermal expansion in everyday life. So, first of all, if you've ever tried to get a stuck lid off uh, a glass jar. Um, you'll appreciate this one. If you heat the lid up under some hot water, that lid will expand slightly and it'll be easier to get the lid off. So by heating the metal lid under some hot water, The lid is easier to unscrew. So is that a nuisance or is that useful? Well, uh, this is a useful property of expansion. So I'm just going to put useful under heading underneath this one, over the top of this one. So what about um, bridges? Now bridges have a long span and in hot weather the materials will expand and so that means that the span will expand and it could buckle especially all the different sections that might make up a bridge so expansion joints expansion joints are needed so that the bridge sections can expand without buckling without buckling is this useful or is it a nuisance well it's a bit of a nuisance that's why we need the expansion joints so this I'm just going to label a nuisance but we found a, a way of dealing with that nuisance by using expansion joints. Now a liquid, when you heat it, will expand in the same way. And if you put that into a, a thin tube, then the liquid will rise up the thin tube when you heat it. And if you put a, a calibrated scale on the side, you can measure the temperature. So this is a useful property. So a liquid will expand when heated and can be used to measure temperature measure temperature so that's useful definitely a useful property and last two now now the cables that hang between electricity pylons, they've got to have some slack on them because if it got cold, the metal cables will contract, so the opposite of expansion, and they could snap because the tension gets too high. So uh, pylon cables have to have some slack. so they do not break in cold weather and you can you sometimes can actually see these these metal cables sag in particularly hot weather they have a larger sag because they expand there's such a long length of them that they're going to expand by quite a, a measurable amount finally Here's a little device called a bimetallic strip. 
bimetallic strip. And as its name suggests, there are two metal strips, bi, meaning two, glued together. Now one of these strips expands more than the other. So in this case, the green metal expands more for each degree rise than the purple. So when we heat this bimetallic strip, the green expands more and pushes the, the purple or blue one uh, and curves it around as the green expands more than the blue. It kind of just curls up and that breaks the contact. So when the temperature falls in this instance, the switch will activate. So bimetallic strip um, is so dot 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 is a temperature operated switch. Um, a temperature operated switch. Um, we can say two metals. Or two metal strips, we could say two metal strips um, glued together will bend when heated. And in brackets, one metal expands more. Hope that makes sense. So some uses. Uh, so this is a useful, this is a useful property. And uh, this one, by the way, with the pylons is a nuisance. We've had to make the cables slack in order to stop them from breaking. So here are uh, five uh, examples of thermal expansion. Other examples include the or the gas in your tires getting hot after a long journey, and so the pressure increases. And railway lines also need some expansion gaps, similar to that of a bridge. So we can use these examples if you're asked to give some uh, everyday examples of thermal expansion.